Two people are in the hospital tonight after being hit by an SUV that also slammed into an outdoor dining area in the Bronx. Tonight, police are searching for that hit and run driver. CBS 2's Karen Dillon live in Mott Haven in the Bronx. Karen. Dick and Dana, the vehicle in question has since been removed, but this remains an active scene and active investigation here in the Bronx. Let me give you a live look behind me right now so you can see for yourself. Now, you can tell that owners here are here clearing up the remnants of this crash, and police tell us while two pedestrians were hit, it remains unclear if there were any customers inside this restaurant when the incident took place. We do know that no diners were injured, but what led to the crash is still under investigation. Hours after it hit this restaurant and crashed into this dining shed, an SUV with a Texas license plate was removed from the scene in the Bronx. The crash sounded like a big bomb, like, like, like I think it was like exploded or something. And uh, I was right here. When I look back, I got scared. I, I don't know. I just see the, like a lot of people screaming. The crash happened around 315 at the corner of East 139th Street and Brook Avenue. Police say an SUV was driving southbound on Brook Avenue when it sideswiped another vehicle and then jumped the curb to hit two people on the sidewalk near this restaurant and dining shed. The owner of the deli across the street says he rushed out to help when he heard the crash. I tried to help the lady, but she was passed out. And the guy who started moving is messed up. That's messed up. Police say a 40-year-old man was taken to the hospital in stable condition. A 17-year-old girl was taken to the hospital in critical condition. People who work in the area say they're hoping the driver, who police say ran off after the crash and who remains on the loose, is caught soon. Meantime, they are praying the victims make a full recovery. I feel sad because they can happen to me because I cross this corner uh, every day. So police have yet to release any suspect information. We are live tonight in the Mott Haven section of the Bronx. Karen Dillon, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Karen.